and welcome back everybody uh, today uh, I finally received this phone in the mail and um, after a lot of searching I finally came across an original Intel Argentina phone that was not restored by Russell Johnson or an uh, art thing and uh, this one not painted all the parts in the phone are original and intact uh, it's all in original condition as it was made now this is uh, tel a telephone made for uh, the Intel in Argentina and this one actually is not made by Siemens so uh, others were made by Siemens and they had a Siemens dial but this one has a face standard dial and on the bottom it has the original sticker and it has the uh, CSEA on the bottom I think that's Compania Standard Standard Electric Argentina so I'm thinking maybe Standard Electric made these under license of Siemens I'm not sure if this one was made by Siemens instead of CSEA would have Siemens here and Siemens there and that uh, indicates the color of the phone. Uh, gris is the Spanish word for gray. And that's the Intel Argentina logo. And it's supposed to be the month and year of manufacture. And that's a model TLF, uh, model 300. And it'll also indicate that on the uh, wiring diagram stuck on the inside of the phone, if there is one. You can see the bottom's really, really dirty. I gotta figure out how to clean this without uh, removing the sticker. I guess I'll have to go around the sticker because I don't want to remove it. The handset cord is kind of hanging in the back. It looks like it um, broke out. So I'll have to figure out how to get that in because it looks like it, I don't know, a lot of bending. You can see the cords are pretty dirty. They'll be cleaned. And also see it has Intel on this line cord stamped. And also has that on the handset cord as well. I know this phone's a boring color, but you know, it's nice to have an original. And it has the face inner dial and someone, uh, whoever stuck the peso coin in there. It's kind of an interesting idea. That's nice to have. And this one came straight from Argentina too. Um, so I guess I get a free peso with this phone. So that's cool. And it's a 2020 coin as well. But no damage, just needs a clean polish. There's the handset. Restrain is in good shape. Just like the VTAP 611 has the same type of plungers. Um, the bell does have a different tone to it compared to a VTAP 611. So that's cool. And the dial. There wasn't a picture of the end of the cord. It's got the, the leads to it. I was kind of hoping in deep down inside that it would have a, an original uh, Intel plug because they had one that um, had the Intel logo uh, molded in the back of the plug, which I thought was kind of cool in, in other pictures of different phones. But I'm not being a choosing beggar or anything, but that would have been kind of a plus. So anyway, I know it's gonna be a short video. What I'll do at the end, there will be pictures of the insides of the phone, of all its components. Um, so, more uh, there will, of course, will be another video of the final checkout once I'm done giving this phone a good clean. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.